Hey guys, my name is Kevin Carden, and I am a photographer and digital artist, and welcome to another tutorial in this uh, Photoshop tutorial series. We'll have one every single day in the month of June, so I hope that you've enjoyed the ones we've had so far, and this one is going to be a good one as well. What we're going to do today is a facelift, so we're going to be taking this woman's face and removing it from her, from her head, and uh, hopefully it'll look uh, pretty cool when we're done with it. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to use this stock image. I got this one from unsplash.com. So if you want to go and download this image, just go to unsplash.com, lots of free stock images. But the first thing we want to do is we want to pretty much cut out the model. It would be great if I just went ahead and cut out the entire model, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to use a quick select tool and select part of her face. And so, uh, the amount of face that you uh, select, that's definitely up to you. You don't have to do all of the face. You know, you can just do uh, whatever amount that you think is going to be necessary for your project. Uh, but I'm going to do something about like this, just using the quick select tool when it makes this nice little shape here. Once you have that, let's do control C on the keyboard and control shift and V. What that does is it does a copy and paste uh, directly of that face on a brand new layer. And let's go ahead and duplicate that. So we have two copies. And I'll go ahead and move one face over here to the left, and the other one is going to be right here in its original spot. So what I want to do for this face right here, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to just fill it with a color. It does not matter which color. Uh, let's just, just for the heck of it, let's just fill it with blue. So I just have a layer on top of it, and I've clipped it to that. Um, and so this is what our uh, little hole in, in the face is going to look like. It looks okay over here on the right side. We have this nice little jagged edge right on her jaw and her cheekbone and all that stuff. But the over on the left looks a little weird because we still see the shape of her nose and her lips. And that's just a little weird. So I'm going to get the elliptical tool and I'm going to draw a little um, circle that kind of goes like this, just like that. And what I'm going to do is that way uh, we're going to have a little bit more of a smooth shape on the far side of her face. And so I'm just going to go ahead and fill this in. Now we have this shape right here. And that looks pretty good like that. But we still have that nose and lips uh, that we're dealing with. So all I'm going to do here is I'm going to get a uh, go to the select, inverse your selection, and then you just want to uh, erase part of that blue. So let's just erase part of that blue. And there we go. So now we have this little shape right here. You see this little shape we have? This is going to go right over her face, and this is going to be the hole. Now, you notice that we still have that nose and those lips in the background. And the easiest way to get rid of that is to use a clone stamp tool on the background. And uh, all you want to do is just sample right here and just paint right over those lips and those noses. And there you go. That's kind of what it looks like when you start painting the background using the clone stamp tool. But now we have the hole in her face and we have um, this actual floating face over here and that's what we want. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring the, uh, the face about where I want it, something kind of like this. I think that looks fine. And then I'm going to uh, paint uh, this uh, blue hole to something different. So what I want to do for that is I want to find the darkest color in the image, which is this part of her hair. And this is going to be the darkest part of the hole. That's kind of like what our true black is going to be. So I'm just going to paint some black right here. It looks like we have a little bit of issue with our selection. All right, make sure it's fully selected. There we go. Okay, so make sure you have nice and black going right here where the edges are. And then what we're gonna do, instead of that blue color, we're going to uh, paint like more of a, uh, this color of her skin that's a little bit lighter. And so that's gonna kinda go on the outside and this dark color is gonna kinda go in the inside. So we're kinda creating like that little shadow, uh, like looking deeper into, uh, deeper into her head, I guess, if that's not too kind of, if that's not too weird. Uh, and then these brighter colors towards uh, where the light would be hitting it. So something kind of like that, uh, you know, you can decide what's inside of her head. You could actually do some textures or something like that. Um, but I think the darker as we get further inside the head, I think it's going to look a little bit better. So something kind of like that, and then just a little bit lighter colors uh, as we get towards the edge, something kind of like that. All right. Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to um, you want to have a little edge going on here, and the best way to do that is do a FX on this blue 
uh, circle we have here, do FX and do um, uh, Enter Shadow. And then what you want to do is make sure that your shadow angle is at zero and then we'll change the color to whatever color you want it to be. It could be like, you know, some of this light skin color or it could be a, a darker color. Or it could be a gray color, you know, just depending on what you want it to look like. Um, and then you can adjust uh, the distance and whatever else you want to do with that. But something kind of like that, what that's going to do is it's going to show this edge. Um, it's going to show this edge where like where the face has been broken off and it looks like it's, uh, you know, being detached uh, kind of like a like an Easter egg or like a, a cardboard box or something like that. Uh, but guys, that's pretty much it. That's how you're going to do that. You're going to uh, just copy this face this face out, and then you're going to fill in that gap uh, and fill it in with the, some dark colors. Make sure that the shape of that hole makes sense, and then just include a little edge that goes around uh, that shape to make it look a little bit more 3D. But that's all I've got for today, guys. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial and I hope that you're able to take these tools and create your own uh, surreal type of images where that's either that's taking a face off someone or, or taking other objects apart. I uh, just hope that you have fun with it, practice with it, and see what you can create. But guys, that's all I got today, but there is another video tomorrow, so stay tuned and I hope to see you again in the next video. If you do want more Photoshop tutorials, be sure to check out uh, my Gumroad account. I'll include a link in the in the uh, description below so you can access those tutorials. Thanks guys and I'll see you tomorrow.